My name is Barbara Tocco. I'm a researcher at the Newcastle University Business School and project manager of Strength to Food, which is a five-year research innovation and demonstration project funded by the European Union. A research aimed at understanding the uh, barriers and opportunities for local showfish supply chains in Northeast England and identifying strategies to ensure that fishers and fishmongers could obtain higher margins and at the same time consumers could gain affordable, fresh, local, seasonal and quality seafood. Our ultimate goal is to improve consumer uh, exposure and perception towards uh, different uh, species of locally landed seafood and improve also their understanding towards sustainable sourcing. We recognize the importance of strengthening local networks within the industry, which can provide win-win solution for multiple actors within the supply chain, from primary producers to end consumers, but also provide important economic, social and environmental benefits for the wider local economy. My name is Joanna Leacy and I'm the Operations Director at Food Nation. This project is all about strengthening the supply chain. It all started here at North Shields Fish Key. So we've been looking at what makes the North East special when it comes to fish and seafood and how we can see more of our locally landed fish on the menu up and down the region. We've been meeting with everyone across the fishing industry, including the fishermen, the fishmongers, retailers, restaurants, and looking at how we can best meet the challenges. Overall, the fish supply chain is rather complex and long as it operates via numerous uh, intermediaries. Uh, as a consequence, fishers uh, often face uh, low bargaining power and rarely engage in direct or uh, alternative types of market channels. On the supply side, the Northeast sea fishing industry is export oriented, with the most valuable catch, langoustines, sold on contract, predominantly to France and Spain. On the demand side, uh, seafood consumption in the Northeast is typically underrepresented on household and restaurant menus, both in terms of quantity and variety. Seafood consumption in the Northeast is typically based on familiarity, with the most consumed species being the well-known Big Five, so cod, haddock, salmon, tuna and prawns. And there are three main reasons for this. Low skills and confidence in the kitchen, uh, preference towards already prepared, filleted, marinated and ready-to-eat seafood, and price sensitivity and also a stick-with-what-you-know sort of mentality. I'm Nick Hanlon, I'm the Managing Director of North Shields Fish Key Company. We are the company that oversee all fisheries related activity for the Port of North Shields. Whether that be boats, landings, the, the fish market, uh, we do a lot of chill storage, so we're, we're kind of like a, a holding facility. Uh, langoustines is the most abundant species here. Uh, it's a high value species as well, so you don't need to catch an awful lot of it to, to make a lot of money. Fish wise, the most abundant species here is whiting. Um, but you also have just everything, a, a kind of a broad mixture really, so from your, your round fish species like cod, haddock, to high value flatfish species like halibut, turbot, brill, and then things like monkfish, plaice thrown in as well. It would be the case that in, if you went to school in North Shields or North Tyneside, if, if you weren't the most academic you would probably go to the shipyards or the mines or fishing, they would be your options. And now. The two of those are gone, they're still fishing here, but people tend not to know about it, so I think it's just getting out there and, and letting people know that, that it is still happening. Really, langoustines are getting a little bit more popular, but we still export 95% of what we catch here because people just don't eat it. It's getting a little bit better, the sort of era the TV chefs is helping. If they, if they cook something on telly, then people come down and, and buy that species the next day, so that is helping. But I think whitens would be the, the, the easy option to, to try and get people to eat more. My name's Andrew Gooding, um, I work at Northumberland Seafood Centre and Hatchery in Amble, Northumberland. Amble's got a long, long history of, uh, of seafood and what the Seafood Centre was wanting to do was trying to get more people involved in, in seafood, whether that's um, producing more different things into the supply chain, trying to encourage people to eat more, trying to educate people about what seafood was present in the North Sea around, around the Northumberland coast. Yeah. Alongside the Seafood Centre we've got the, the Lobster Hatchery 
Um, lobsters are a really iconic species for the northeast coast. Over 80% of lobsters caught in Europe are caught around the UK and Ireland. A good percentage of those are across along the, the east coast. It should be something that people are really proud of about the northeast. You know, we send them all over the rest of Europe and they're really, really prized and we don't really capture that value locally, you know, or we certainly don't celebrate that value locally. Hi, my name's Christy, and um, I am the Youth Programme Manager of Food Nation and I look after um, a number of different projects including our seafood and catering project which gives um, employability skills uh, to young people aged 16 to 25 teaching them lots of seafood based um, preparation and cooking which they then showcase at sub clubs. I get the trainees to come up with ideas and a theme for what they would like to make. So we have tried making new things like our own salt cod, so we could do salt cod croquettes or stuffed peppers as we are having this evening. We have been making all kinds of different stocks and um, different um, seafood dishes which have been amazing, things that trainees haven't tried before or um, ever been able to make before. I've also seen huge increases in confidence and self-esteem um, in the young people that are on the programme and it gives them up-to-date experience which means they can go start a career in a kitchen or um, maybe it's getting back into it after having had a break for some reason. Retail-wise, um, the fish key now is, 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 is becoming a lot busier. This was a decline in industry for years. The fish key itself was a, a run-down, smelly, sort of almost miserable place to come. So to, to, to have a rejuvenation, a regeneration is, is really important. It's, it's important for all you know, local residents, um, everybody around the area. It's just making people aware of what's going on and that there's really good things happening. Uh, putting the message out there, hopefully, can only inspire people. These projects are demonstrating the potential for strengthening the skills and knowledge of local people. Having met with everyone from academic researchers, fishmongers, restaurateurs, retailers, we can now see what all the challenges are. Thank you to everyone who's given up their time and expertise. This important work continues.